could just keep going and going. I'm just going to stop there. So here I am with the KHDK Abyss bass overdrive pedal, and uh, and it's that was a little anticlimactic um, because I hit you with the hardest setting first, almost hardest setting first, uh, to get your attention. And now we're going to pull everything back and uh, and sort of talk about what this does. So this is uh, this is a creation from Kirk Hammett of a small band, and. Uh, and not a bass player, oddly enough, but um, has input on what we like and what we don't like. But they put some good things in here. Um, so what this pedal does, bass overdrive, obviously, that um, combines a clean and a dirty signal, which we appreciate because you need the original foundation to keep things going, which is um, you know something that a lot of pedal makers are doing now. They're finally realizing that you need to keep the original signal. Well, this lets you, instead of just having a blend, it lets you add as much or as little of the original and dirty signal as you like. So let's run over these controls and then we'll get to the tone. So we have the on off switch here. This is your clean level. This over here is your treble, not tone, but treble. It's a, it's actually a low pass filter. And, uh, and so then we have the gain and we have your dirty signal. We have a low high switch, which, um, as you can imagine, adds quite a bunch uh, of gain um, as you're hitting this high switch. It actually adds, I'm sorry, it doesn't add a ton of gain. It adds uh, some compression. It adds some more uh, overdrive to it. And so what you can do with this pedal is hit it hard like I did, um, or you can pull it back and you can get some subtle dirty tones, which, you know, you can go for like that Ampeg SVT thing, um, or, you know, just a little bit of tube breakup. And that's a cool thing uh, on tape. That's a cool thing live. Um, some people like to have some of those, some of that dirt in there because it's just, it just makes it kick in the mix a little bit harder. Um, you know, and clean bass is, it's fine. Don't get me wrong, but, um, but to have a little dirt on it always makes it a little bit nicer. So let's pull it back and I'm going to take off. That was the high to low. I'm going to pull this back so you can hear basically what the pedal does. Um, you know, at its, at its core. So this is just the clean signal. Let me put this down. We don't need that. And this is a really subtle treble control. Right now, this is just, just the clean signal. Now I'm going to add a little dirt. And see, so you can go full on, full on original signal. There's a little bit of breakup on there. Now let's pull that original signal all the way back. And notice I'm, I'm pulling this back. Uh, as the gain goes up, I'm trying to maintain, I don't want to overdrive you guys on the, uh, the signal coming into the recording software. So I should say peak, it's an overdrive. So, <laughs> you know. so now that's full on dirty. some nice harmonics on there too. darkens up with the uh, the treble coming down now again that's with the low setting so when I hit the high it's gonna boost the crap out of it 
So uh, I'm gonna hit it and then I'm gonna pull everything back for you. So. Woo! <laughs> I like it. So this again is with no original signal. that original signal coming back in how how the bottom end really beefs up nicely I've got this thing dimed over here of course for the gain to get the maximum overdrive effect now where are you gonna use this I mean maybe you use it as sort of a, a emulate a keyboard you know throw it with some different effects um, and get that nice square wave happening So we've rolled back the gain, uh, and now we just have a little bit of breakup on there. Kind of like a sixth grade romance, you know, just a little breakup. You just, you like going together first period, break up second period, back together at lunch. A little, a little bit of, anyhow, sorry. <laughs> And that's nice, you know, who's gonna use this? Well, anybody, you want a, you want a little boost, you want a signal boost, you do you take a solo, eh, go ahead and use this, you know? If you want a little uh, clean boost, you want a little dirty boost, uh, if, you, if you have a really nice amplifier, a very clean amplifier, uh, such as this Aguilar Tone Hammer. Um, and by the way, our signal path today is the Fender Deluxe into the Abyss, into, oh wow, we're going into the Abyss. Into the Abyss, into an Aguilar Tone Hammer, into an Apogee Quartet into Pro Tools. Um, so if you have a nice, clean, pristine amp, maybe you want to put this on the front end and uh, get that SVT grit um, if it's not available on your amp um, or for tracking. But, uh, but, you know, it's not just for the aggressive player. It's for anybody that wants to um, add a, just a little bit of distinction to their tone. So let's, again, roll through a little bit more dirt. And this is sort of... Uh And again, it's just a nice, I mean, let's, let's A, B it without the pedal. So you hear how the frequencies pop, you hear how the dirt kicks in, and you hear how the bass jumps out at you. So that's what's gonna happen in your mix, your live mix and your studio mix um, when you're using something like this. So um, make sure you check it out for yourself at your local music store or read the review as written by Victor Broden, dear friend, uh, and uh, great bass player. Um, check that out online or our print magazine. Make sure you check out all of our videos, including the massive rig rundowns that are coming out right now, which are pretty amazing. So um, anyhow, for Premier Guitar, PremierGuitar.com, this is Steve Cook. I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.